Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of a Crazy a Town a Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I sure the FM. We're playing of that Madden 21. Yeah, we're doing the oily boys. We're oily boys now? Yeah, dude, let's see if I can break my losing streak. We're going to be oiled up, boys. You know, last time I lost two games in a row in Madden. I don't think these videos come out in succession like They do. That. I'm doing them in the proper order. But we played the Browns twice. No, we played the Browns, and then we played against the Browns. Oh, we were the Bengals in one. No, we were the Washington football team. We were the team. Washington football team in one. We'll never be the Bengals, ever. Why do you hate the Bengals? I don't hate them, dude. I just don't want to play them. They're stupid. Why do you? How are the Bengals stupid? I don't understand Because they're how. like a fake tiger. But that's They're actually a real tiger. They're called Bengal tigers. <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> They're real tigers. Whatever, dude. Intricacies. It's like, how are you discriminatory against big cats? I don't understand. Oh, I love big peas, dude. You like, wait, I don't know what that, I said big cats. Jonas. Yeah, so did I. Big cats. Cats. Yep. Jonas. Peas. Peas. We're talking about. Peas. We're talking about cats. I'm talking about. Ease cats. I don't. Ease cats. I don't know what, I don't know what you mean. I'm sorry. Could you explain? Uh, there's another word for cat. Kittens? Yep. Felines? Kittens, felines. Felines, Jones? You find yep, them? dude, that's it. They're all felines. It's amazing how, like, uh, like if you just make an animal bigger, how much more dangerous it becomes. Yeah, dude, right? Like, if it was, a, like, a six-foot-tall bird, dude, that ish would be scary and right? detrimental to human life. Oh, well, it's kind of like the idea of, like, a regular bird like a robin or something and you're like oh that's cute and then like you compare that to like a bald eagle that could like just talon your face off yeah dude you know like, last time hell? i had my face taloned off dude there was challenge dude we're gonna lose again i'm gonna lose three in a row it's like if you take like something like a dachshund and you're like oh what a cute little dog and then you take something like a hyena and you're like oh i never want to encounter this thing in real life is that because it's ugly no, because they're huge, and they would, it would be, it would be a fair fight almost. <laughs> like, hyenas were kind of small. Like no, <laughs> dude, do you ever seen that picture of like the freaking Jamaican dude with the hyena on a chain? That ish is scary looking, man. Look that ish up. We are down by a lot again. Why are we losing so? Because you suck. That's true. You probably, you probably took the difficulty up on yourself, and not even realizing oh, it. But playing uh, on the highest difficulty forever. Do you whiskey? <laughs> sure. Then blame it on blame it on a drink. Blame, blame it on, on the a, 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 a alcohol. Um, I've never seen that picture of the man. Yeah, do you look that ish up. You show me off camera. I refuse. Um, but it's also like uh, like fish. Like, oh, oh it was a cute go fish in a tank, and then you're like, oh, that's a shark that could do do to do to do it all over my face. Yeah, dude, or like you're like, there's a uh, there's a whale, and it just like swallows you. Yeah, pff, right, that's a big fish, you know. This is a big fish, dude. And like, dude. You dolphins, see that movie? dolphins big are, fish? yeah, I have. Dolphins are cute. Yeah, dude, but if there was a dolphin that was like ten times the size of that dolphin, it wouldn't be so cute, dude. Yeah, especially when it tried to forcibly have sex with you. Yeah, dude, when it blowhold you. That's what dolphins are known for doing. Sorry. They hump, dude. Dolphins are extremely sexual creatures, you know. They've, yeah, I've heard that. Dude. Yeah, they're crazy. Poor guys. All they want to do is love. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Procreate more like it. Yeah, dude, they want to love inside you. <laughs> you know. But I have to say is that the scariest animal besides, like, like animals that actually, like, if you go to the zoo, they make me nervous are, like, the big cats make me nervous because, like, they're just huge. Vicious and huge. There's nothing you could do. If you do not have a gun and, like, you need... <laughs> You need the gun and you need like a buffer zone of like 60 feet. Yeah, and then because you need if they the start animal. charging at you, like that's it. Yes. Because they can take a couple shots too. You got to hit them right in the head. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> they can take a couple shots. They're fast and you need to be accurate. So now it's like the ball is in your court. It's all your skill at that point. Yeah. They make me nervous, dude. Especially when you go to the zoo and they come up right near the glass. I'm like, yo, fam. 
<laughs> Yo. Yeah. Okay. I, I get um, that. Okay. But but the animal that even supersedes them are the freaking gorillas. I was gonna ask you that because they're just like they feel like they're uh, baby Huey. Like they don't realize how strong they are and they can just like rip your arm off. Dude. I remember I went to this was in New York. I'm not sure what zoo it was, but I think it was in New York. It was either New York or, or Pittsburgh. Might have been Pittsburgh Zoo. I remember going there and we were in like the monkey house and dude there was like some gorillas and they're in their enclosure. It's probably about the size of like double this apartment or so. Okay. And it just had like the clear like So like two hundred square foot. Yeah, and it and they, you know, it obviously wasn't there was like a part that led outside or whatever. But uh we were inside and they were in there and they were just like, you know, ha ha having fun and there's like the plexiglass that's kinda on a slant or whatever. Yeah. And somebody must have done something that pissed this gorilla off. And this thing started punching the glass, Jonas. And I just saw, like, a bunch of people, like, freaking running towards me. Because they were like, if he gets out, dude. What do you do, dude? He can take on, like, 50 humans without a weapon. Easy. 50 weaponless humans? Yes. Easy. (laughs) Just, like, systematically dismantling them. Just take you apart, rip your torso from your your body. Just, like, yeah, just punch you, just rip an arm off, move to the next person, rip their head off. Use the smaller human to hit this larger human. Like, it would it would not be a good thing. We man. should make a movie about monkeys that break out of the zoo and, like, grab people and kill other people with people. You mean, uh... It'd be human baseball with human baseball bats. You mean King Kong? Is that what happens? I don't know, basically. Spoiler alert? <laughs> Spoiler alert for King Kong, and I'm never not even... Seen that, dude. I don't know what in the movie. you never seen King Kong? You know the premise of it, though, right? What happened? Why am I in the end zone? In King Kong or in the game? Uh, both. I just can't believe what just happened. You got a safety, Jonas. Dude. You are just sucking it up today. I don't even know why I had the ball and what play. I didn't call the play. <laughs> you don't even know what's going on. I really don't. You're no, supposed like, to be the no, one that knows. It's supposed to be like the extra point. And then like all of a sudden I'm on the two-yard line. And I'm running a play where I only have one receiver. And I'm Yo, in the end zone. I mean, that, that sounds like a failing. So what, what happened to King Kong, dude? You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, he like loved a human woman and climbed a tower, no, and the army came for him, no, right? No, no. I mean, yeah. Okay, so King Kong is based. I mean, there's like millions of versions of this movie. I wouldn't say millions, but there's there's versions of this movie. I've but never seen one. By the way. premise is is that an explorer goes to an island that is like freaking like never been inhabited, hasn't seen people, and he finds like a bunch of creatures that are giant. So he finds like dinosaurs, and he finds like big cats and dogs and just like all kinds of just like every sort of like a bunch of oddities and everything's huge and then he comes across a friendly giant gorilla well i wouldn't even say he's friendly but he's he's like tameable he's not yeah he's not like super aggressive yeah so they so the dude like tranks him and he captures him and he's like we're gonna bring him back to the mainland and we'll be millionaires showing off this gorilla so they start showing him off um around the country and then they're, and then like uh this uh singer who's like you know she's like oh i want to be famous she was like well you can do a show with our gorilla and it'll make us both rich and you're beautiful and i want to you know be in your bedroom and uh okay. she, and she's like oh of course and i'm then, following bedrooms and yes. then and then she becomes friends with the gorilla and then the gorilla is like i really like this girl and he, I don't get to see her anymore, and then he goes crazy and starts tearing up the city, and then there's the whole scene of him climbing Empire State Building helicopters. I know that. Yeah. 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 That's the, the iconic comes scene. And they start missling him and stuff. Yeah, and he's got, like, the girl in his hands. He's like, I love this girl because I'm, 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 you know. He's in the DC Audi. He couldn't even his fingers. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Is it bestiality if the animal tries to do it? <laughs> I don't know. This he's into he's into humanality. I don't like that. I don't like even this. Like pop, she could climb inside as you reach. Jonas. I mean, like Jonas. Jonas. <laughs> Just say it, dude. I'm gonna need you to chill out. Like he's like tickle the inside. I'm gonna need you to chill out, right? Just stop it. Get facts, some, bro. Stop it. Get some help. Get some help, dude. I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about gorilla urethra. Oh, he snatched it out my bed. <laughs> 
do, dude? I'm not going to talk about that. Not not today, not tomorrow. Never. Nope. We're talking about the fun stuff. <laughs> we can talk about old movies all you want to, but when you start can't talking talk about 90s music, when you start talking about Gorilla is Urethras. Is that going to catch on fire? That's where I draw the line. Fine. I won't talk any more about Gorilla Panai. Um, but yeah, so that's that's basically the movie, and then like they end up killing the monkey, and she's like, "No, we were friends." But like, she really didn't care about him, right? No, she, she they they became her. friends, dude. It's like I mean, it's like with any other pet, Jonas. If you would get a cat, you would understand what it means to love. I had a cat before. That's not what I said at all. I mean, how would I understand if I got a cat now? Because then you, to when I had one because now you're at a point in your life where your biological clocks are ticking. Oh, so I'm going to replace my lack of children with a cat. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, you got a, you got a lot of love in your heart to give, sir. I do have some love in there, dude. I know, and you don't have any outlets because I'm sure not going to let you love me. I don't want to love you. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. I'm cool with that. Like, fine, dude. I didn't. I was just joking, but I guess we're going to be so serious about it. <laughs> no, it's all right. Um, <laughs> you know. It's, Either it's way. fine, just fine, dude. It's fine. But yeah, if you, you know, you got a lot of love in your heart, and I feel like it'd be good to have an outlet for that. And you know, there might be some, you know, I can get some residual release. It's not all selfless. It's n- it's not like I've been trying to get Jonas to get a cat for months. Yeah, dude. If the APL wasn't COVID up, dude, uh, it's I know bad you think excuse, that. I know you think that this, dude. This argument has no weight. It doesn't. But it's my argument, so it has all the weight I need. I well, I agree with that, but it's still <laughs> just like uh, it's not a good argument because, dude, once pandemic's over, it's so look. three years. Well, dude, twenty twenty three. No better time to get a cat. <laughs> <laughs> no, the best time to get a cat is uh, a month ago. The second best time is right now. (laughs) Damn it, I'm always second best. (laughs) So let's go right now. Yeah, dude, no. I've honestly thought about just like putting one in your room with a bow on it. I'd take it it to the pound. You would not. If I got a a cat that I did not pick out, it would go to the pound. No, dude, I've seen the Reddit pictures of like the dad who's like, I don't want this dang cat. And then they're like petting the cat and like painting the cat's nails. See, I'm not a dad. You (laughs) (laughs) fucking. Yes, yes, you are. That's why I already know what your reaction would be. Because you'd be like, oh, I don't want this dang cat. I love this cat. <laughs> you don't drink this cat for me. No, I came to the pound the same day, dude. I wouldn't even get a chance to pet it. Yeah, yeah, right. I wouldn't even touch it. I'd Ma- grab it with a plastic Ma- bag okay, and see, put it in a laundry basket. I already know you're lying now. <laughs> you'd be like, not. I'm taking a thing to the pound tomorrow. I'd be like, oh, okay, sure you are. And then I'd love it forever. No, and then, I, and I, know that cat, I know what you're trying to do to me. I wouldn't do it. And then that cat would come in and like rub up against your ankle one time. You'd be like, well. I'd be like, get this filth ball out of my room, dude. <laughs> That's what I would say. Filth ball. Uh, yeah, dude. Get this hairy monster out of my you sight. Like, I don't believe that. Cause yeah, they're, dude. The thing is, is that it's cute, dude. Like, cats are cute. And no, that's... I don't think anything is cute. Bull crap. I don't believe in cute. Jonas, look. You're talking to the human being who has, since he was 12 years old, said that he never wanted children and that he thought that children... Yeah, yeah, I never wanted any of you little motherfuckers. You listening right now? I don't want one of you in my life, all right? I don't want my own. You're cool because you're not mine. You go talk to your mom. Me, I have no kids, never wanted kids, but the minute that I spent a little bit of time with a child... It has changed my complete view. So now you're gonna gonna no. take some no. steps. No. Nope. Nope. No. No, dude. No. I thought you said just changed no. your heart. Too, it so. did. Because now I'm just like, oh, I get it. Kids are cool. Kids are alright. So Babies are that. fine, dude. They cry. I used to used to bother the hell out of me when a baby cried. Now I'm like, yeah, you know, I get it. Uh, you know, I laugh. You know what fix? You know what fixes the problem of babies crying when you get paid to take care of it? No, you know what fixes the problem of having these uh, biases towards anything is exposure. Were you racist against babies? I guess I was. You're babyist. I, I was a baby racist, Jonas. <laughs> I would just leave you at the widow oasis. <laughs> I was like, ew, babies, they're gross. I yeah, can't believe like, these get babies. Get out of here, baby. Go back to your country. Go back <laughs> to your kind, baby. 
<laughs> we don't take too kindly to you babies around yeah. here. Gonna do something bad to you babies. You don't baby your way out of here, you baby. Come in here speaking your baby Come language. Here, speak, speak English. Come in here, goo goo ga ga all over the place, you son of a bee. <laughs> Show you. But yeah, hundred percent. As soon as I was exposed to a, I don't like the way that sounded. The, the, as soon as you the, had experience. The moment I had too. more exposure to children, I I get it. I get it. I do. So it, it's cool. I don't like it when they get like around like the, the point where they start talking back. Cause you See, talk back to me, that, I'm mad. That I, I like kids when they're like old enough to talk to i don't like it when they're old enough to talk back i like it when they're like teenagers i even think are okay but like when you're just like stupid and you don't know what like the hell you're talking like seven to eleven <laughs> like you don't know what the hell you're talking about you don't know what you're talking about at 18 but yeah we'll say seven to eleven uh, amen to that but yeah. at least you can be reasoned with uh, yeah or at least like you have some sort of knowledge base at yeah. eight, eight seven to eleven you literally know nothing you know, it was you know cartoons. You know what's funny is I, I just saw this the other day where somebody was like, I remember when I was like a kid growing up, I was the one thing that made me the most angry is that adults never took me seriously. And now that I'm an adult, I can't take anything a kid says seriously. Well, dude, seriously. it's funny. Uh, before we end this video, I saw a, a Reddit post. And there was a bunch of people talking about how, like, when they were kids, when The Simpsons came out, hmm. they related to, like, Bart, and they didn't understand how their dad, like, enjoyed watching the show. And they were always just like, oh, stupid old man. Da, da, da. And they say, like, now that I've, they've gone back as a 30-year-old man with kids, now they relate more to Homer. And now they're all like, man, Bart's such an a-hole. Like, and now they can, but they can see how their dad related to Homer back in the day. Because it, like, really addresses many different things that fathers go through that sons go through that daughters and moms so like everyone ha can relate to all the characters and it's, they're like it's funny like growing up for 30 years watching this show and now i relate with a different character sitcom formula yeah dude it's like i used to it used to be the bart show now it's the homer show <laughs> so anyways that's all the time we have for today's episode please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that uh this dude does twitch tnt dynamite i'm on twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m central that's tnt d-i-n-o-m-i-g-h-t underscore crazy channel at twitch.tv all right next you want to go back and watch the simpsons and watch it in homer's point of view <laughs> for jonas we'll catch you on the next one we are out.